Hi everyone, welcome to Books and Chooks. My name is Sabrina and it has been a while since I have posted a video. <laughs> the last couple of months have been really intense. A lot has been going on and I kind of wanted to do a little sit down, chat video, catch up video before I just jump into making videos again to kind of not explain myself but just give a bit of a life update talk about what's been happening. Last couple months have been real intense. I've had a few personal things happen. We moved house, moved house in the middle of a lockdown yet again. So that was, you know, crazy in itself. I've been working full time, so five to six days a week, seven to five every day for the last like two and a half months covering somebody's holidays. So that's been real intense. I also got offered a permanent position at my job because I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I was a casual, pretty much doing full-time hours. But um, I've been there 10 months now, and they offered me a permanent position. So I'm going to be part-time with the potential to go full-time. So I'm excited for that. That means my schedule is going to be a bit more stable and predictable, which will be good. I don't know if I've mentioned as well, but I work in a paint shop. A bit different, but I like it. It's definitely not... If you've watched some of my previous videos, you would know that I'm interested in history and I want to work in the heritage field eventually, so working in a paint shop is definitely not a long-term thing, but I do enjoy it at the moment. Every day is different, you get to tint up paint, which is quite fun, so yeah, I enjoy it. And I'm going to be part-time there, so that'll be good. So I've been working lots, we moved, um, had some personal things happen. And my self-esteem hasn't been the best either. I've had a lot of skin issues lately. I've been breaking out heaps around my like mouth and my nose and I have a feeling it might be to do with wearing a mask all day, every day at work. And I've also been breaking out around my temples, which I find really strange. So yeah, haven't been feeling great about my face. I've been trying different skincare products, um, trying different skincare routines to try and make, you know, to try and make it better and to try and make myself feel better <laughs> as well and I think some of it's worked it is calming down now which is good and then yeah just life life's busy <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of sit down and I guess explain what's been happening I'm in my new little reading nook so that was really fun to set up so I will give you a quick little reading nook tour now because I'm excited for you to see my new bookshelf as well. <laughs> so this is my little reading nook. I love it so much. It's definitely not done though, I would say. Over here I've got, this bookshelf here has a lot of my older books on it. If you want a tour of that shelf, I would love to give you it because I love all the cool covers and the old spines and everything. This shelf here was at my, the previous house and it currently just holds a whole bunch of random books. I honestly have no rhyme or reason of the way that I organize my shelves. I probably should. I would need to spend quite a bit of time organizing them, I think, if I did do that. <laughs> But at the moment, the bottom shelf has all of the books that I have read, and these two are just books that I need to read. And then on each end I've got little knickknacks, and then I've got my little cosy little armchair, my little lamp. And then this shelf here is the shelf, the new shelf that I bought. <laughs> I bought it for $100 off Facebook Marketplace, which was pretty, I think it was really good. I like timber looks, so a beautiful old timber bookcase like this I love so it's got a little cupboard down the bottom which I keep a lot of my candles and my bookmarks and just random stuff in I've got a lot of my non-fiction um, resource books down here most of them are to do with history and then up here <laughs> so, uh, more of my books uh, just a bunch of the ones that I'm very excited to read next uh, as you can see it's overflowing a little bit and I do have this empty, well, half empty shelf, which I do need. I could put all of those books up there. At the moment, this is just what it is. I kind of like the look of a really full bookshelf. So I don't know. We'll see how we go. And then the top shelf is all of Ben's books. He's got a lot of like fantasy books from his Warhammer universe that he likes. So yeah, that's a little overview of my little reading nook. I find it very cozy. 
And it's definitely a bit messy. I do need to reorganize my shelves at some point, but I think it's pretty good for now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little overview of my bookshelves. If you do want a more in-depth bookshelf tour, let me know. I would be open to doing it, but I'd probably do it as I reorganize my shelves. So maybe we'll have to do that fairly soon. <laughs> But yeah, um, but I thought I'd do a little book chat as well. I haven't really done anything like this for a while or at all. I've done like reading vlogs and stuff, but I haven't actually sat down and had a little book chat with you about what I've been reading. So I think I'll just show you the last book I read and the book I'm currently reading, just to give you a bit of an idea of what I've been doing. <laughs> so the last book that I read that I just finished last night, Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Haig? I think it's how you pronounce it. I loved this so much. Uh, definitely a five out of five read. One of my favorite books that I've read this year. It actually made me very teary at the end and not a lot of books can do that. I am quite an emotional person, but when I'm reading a book, it's not that I'm heartless or anything like that. It's just very few books can make me emotional. And this made me emotional. And it was just the ending. Like it just, it was like a happy ending. And I really loved, I loved it. Like. The way it was written, it was it was written well. I liked Matt Haig's writing style. I feel like everyone can could relate to Nora in some one way or another. Like we all have our regrets. We all sometimes feel like, you know, the walls are closing in, and that like there's no positives. But this book also made you look at the bright side of life. Like it. It did say, hey, you know, you've got regrets in your life. It's it's like that saying, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Like, yes, you could have done something differently. You could be living a completely different life if you did, if you had made a different decision. But that life might not necessarily be better. It might be worse. Yes, it, it could be better, but, you know, there might be aspects that are worse. I don't know, it just, it was a thought-provoking read, but it, in the end, I think it made you grateful for the life that you do have and the decisions that you have made, because it made you think, like, I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't made the decisions I had made. And I think it makes you really grateful for just having choices and ha having endless possibilities of what you can do. Yeah, I, I really liked it. Throughout the whole book, all this, all of the lives that Nora lived, it was like a roller coaster because some were good, some were bad, some were in the middle, and throughout all of them, you could see that she was changing her mind about her original life. And when it comes to the end of the book, there's such a dramatic change in her character, and it just made me really emotional, especially the last chapter with her old school librarian, Mrs. Elm. It was such a sweet scene, and it just made me really teary. So, if you haven't read this already, I highly recommend reading it. I know it's very popular, so I'm sure a lot of people have read it. But if you haven't, definitely pick it up. It's definitely one of the best books I've read this year, if not in the last few years. So just get onto it. <laughs> so that's the one I literally finished last night. And then this morning I started The Happiest Man on Earth by Eddie Jacou. And I'm a couple of chapters in. It's his life through the war. And how he was treated and how no matter the horrific thing, even though he went through horrific things, no matter how bad they were, he always managed to look on the bright side of life and find happiness and love and focus on kindness. So it just sounds like such an inspirational read. I'm a couple of chapters in. It's quite emotional as well. Like the stuff that happened to him when he was quite young is, it's just horrific what he went through. Very inspirational man. And now uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, is an update on my little chickens. So. Let's go see them. It now. is a little bit windy, but here are the chickens. How are you all? They've all been doing really well. When we first moved, Eleanor started molting. She completely lost her tail and a bit of feathers around her neck and on her wings. Uh, but now she's grown them all back and she's as fluffy as ever. Nancy's doing pretty well, aren't you, my Nance? Yeah. 
<laughs> Nancy's been learning tricks with Ben. She now jumps up on our arm when we hold our arm out to her. I'll insert a little clip of me doing it. There we go. So that's a trick that Ben's been teaching her to jump up onto his arm. But uh, as much as he says it is a trick, uh, honestly, I think it's just Nancy's ticket to get over the fence to where all the good stuff is. Yeah, see? <laughs> as soon as she's out, she's like, nah. Better things to do than sit on your arm. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're good. If this place has a lot more grass, a lot more space, lots of little spots to scratch in and dust bath in. So they're pretty happy. Yeah, aren't you? <laughs> because we are on an acre block, um, we're not letting them roam, free roam that whole space because it's too much of a... Right. So we've got this little pen marked out. Sorry about the wind. Yeah, we've got this little pen marked out. So it's still quite a decent amount of space and we do let them out into the rest of the yard as well and change the little chicken way uh, run but for the most part it stays the same and they're pretty happy they've still got heaps of space to scratch and find good stuff this place is a bit of a snail haven so they've been finding lots of good snails uh, and it's been really funny watching them because the person who owns all the paddocks around us has cows and so the cows come right up to the fence over there and the chickens like freak out so it's been really funny to watch them get used to the cows. Oh excuse you my Nancy this is for everyone. Hi Eleonora can I give a tour of your crib? Huh? Our little one's deciding to lay. Huh? My little chickens. You like your new home, huh? It's cosy. A lot cosier than the last one. So while I have been away, I've also been getting into my garden, gardening, creating my veggie garden. We had kind of a veggie garden at the old place, but we wanted to, well, I wanted to extend it uh, and it just wasn't feasible then. But now that we've moved and we're here for another year or so, I decided that uh, we're going to make one. So these are all my seedlings. They're doing very well. I've got a bit of everything. I've got some climbing peas, carrots, corn, lettuce, cauliflower, butternut pumpkin, tomatoes, zucchini, capsicum, basil, and I've also got some a sunflower and some daisies. So I've got a little bit of everything here, and I'm very, they're all doing really well. Except one of those lettuce looks a bit saggy, but I think that's just from the sun. This garden bed is actually an old shelf. <laughs> uh, we had it in the old house, but because the old house was quite damp, uh, it got mouldy on the back, and I didn't want to bring the mould into the new house. So I cleaned the mould off, reinforced the backing, and painted it and filled it with dirt, and boom, it's a garden bed. So here's your little reminder or tip to try and repurpose things where you can to reduce waste. So I got my little climbing peas, they're all doing so well. I got this little homemade trellis that I made out of sticks and twine. I definitely need to make it a bit bigger though because these are growing real quick and are going to overtake it very quickly. And I made all these little labels for all of the plants. I made out of an old milk container. I also had a lot of pots left over from previous you know, plants or previous times that I've repotted things. So I had a lot to work with, but I also didn't have quite enough. So I repurposed some old drink containers. So this is an old Sprite bottle that I cut and drilled holes in the bottom. And I don't know if you can see it, but 
you can see the roots growing. A little zucchini. And then I got a uh, big M container. And then this is an old milk one as well that I have my little pumpkins growing. So, yeah. I'm very excited for all of these to take off. We'll start being able to eat our own produce. And I'll probably film about my gardening a bit more and give you guys updates every now and then. But yeah, I'm very excited for this to happen. Gardening is such a wholesome thing to do and just watching the plants grow. Especially when like you've planted them yourself. Very, very excited and wanted to share with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was just a little update on what's been happening and what I'm currently reading and my little new bookshelves and reading nook and everything. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting out more videos soon. But if you did like this one, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know how you're all doing. I think it's very important at this point, especially, you know, while we're in lockdown, to always check in with people. So yeah, comment down below how you're going. Let me know whether you guys are in lockdown, wherever you are in the world. Yeah, if... And if you think my videos will be something that you enjoy uh, please subscribe my chickens and i will be very appreciative of you if you do until next time bye guys